welcome back. So as you can see, I do have a new background. I'm completely redoing my entire beauty room. So I went with white because what girl doesn't love a nice, white, clean, crisp beauty room? That's my dream. It's always been my dream. So it's finally in the works. So we're going to have a plain background just for a little bit until I can completely change and have this room done. But, I mean, I kind of like the whole, like, plain vibes. I don't know. It gives, like, all the attention on me, which is what I love. No, just kidding. But don't worry, I am going to be doing a whole, like, uh, beauty room tour. Yeah? So once it's complete, it's probably not going to be complete for like a whole nother month to a month and a half, but of course I will upload that video for you guys because I mean, I just love watching those videos, so I'm assuming you guys do too. Anyways, that is not the video for today. Today I'm doing the I Pick Out My Makeup Blindfolded Challenge. I went through all my drawers, picked out the makeup completely blindfolded and I have it all in this little basket right here. So if you want to see what I picked out and what kind of look I can get from it then let's just get right into this. already know that I picked out my Smashbox primer water. I know exactly what the bottle feels like and I was like, where is it? I need to find it. That's my holy grail. Can't do a look without it. So we're going to prep this skin starting with this. And then for a primer, I picked out the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I actually have not used this in the longest time. Not really sure if I still like it. Um, but yeah, we're going to give this a little bit of a whirl today. I actually picked out two foundations because I knew I was going to have a little bit of a tan. I was scared I was going to pick a really white one or a really dark one. So I was like, I'm just going to pick two to play it safe. Picked out the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. And then I picked out the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This one's a little bit darker. So we're going to mix the two of these. I thought it was a clear, like silicone based one but I do remember that it has a very strong scent so this is more of like a lotion as you can see a little bit of a lotion feel to it oh yeah I remember this being very like slippery on my skin but we're gonna see if it can perform a little bit better with these foundations that we're gonna try out today so that's the shade I have right now it's looking like very orangey and like a golden not red. <laughs> Duh. It's definitely not going to be a complete match, but we're doing the best we can. This is like a thicker formula right now. Definitely made it a little bit thicker just because the LA Colors is a thicker um, formula. How many times can I say thicker in a sentence?
So the concealer that I picked out is this Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. I haven't tried this one out yet, but we have a little bit of a predicament because look at what shade this is. I don't want to look crazy today because I know this is way too light. So I'm going to go and grab another concealer. Wrong sign. See, I'm all messed up. Um, I'm going to go and grab a darker concealer. I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium with Light Cool. And then let's go in with this Ulta. Bring this out a little bit more. And for powder today, I did pick out the Laura Mercier. This one was not hard to miss, and I don't really have a lot of setting powders, so it was a pretty easy one. I'm going to go in with this powder and bake like I always do. Underneath the eyes first. And for brows today, I picked out the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. This is my go-to every day. And moving on to contour and bronzer, I picked out this Koti, Koti, Koki Powder Contour Palette. It looks like this. It's kind of like a dupe for the Anastasia Contour Kit or the Kat Von D Shade in Light. And for bronzer, I picked out Benefit Hula. I haven't used this in the longest time. I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Then let's move on to bronzer. I'm not going to use like this little horse tail thingy in here because um, I like to use fluffy brushes. So I'm just going to swirl in here. Like, look at how much I have left. Nothing. I think it looks pretty, but I just think mine is so old that like the color payoff is just not there anymore. And it's like starting to shatter, so RIP Benefit Hula. For blush today, I did pick out a really, really good blush. I picked out the Anastasia Blush Trio, and this is in the shade Peachy Love. So I think I'm going to go in with this nude and this red just to kind of like get some red onto my face so it can match my chest. Add some color back into this face. I definitely need some red up in here. I'm gonna go in with a really heavy hand of blush today just cause I feel like I look crazy if I don't have some red on my face. So there we go. I mean, I think that looks pretty stinking good in my opinion. So now I'm gonna spray my face with Smashbox Primer Water one more time before we move on to highlighter. I ended up picking out this glow kit from Anastasia, and this is the one that's sun dipped. So it has like the really light, the really dark, and then like a little bit of pop of color right in here. So I think I'm going to end up going with this champagne -y pink type of color just because this one's definitely going to be way too light. I don't want purple, and that one's way too dark. So let's do this. This is the shade Moonstone. This is even lighter than what I was expecting, so I'm going to take a little bit of bronzed and mix that in with it, just because I don't want like a super crazy highlight. So I picked out the Sephora Pro eyeshadow palette for my eyeshadow today. I have not done eyeshadow on myself in forever. This is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. My kind of shades. I'm going to take this shade right here. Next, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to focus this right on the outer corner. I'm actually going to use this mirror so I can see a little bit better. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is just a little bit darker.
So I'm going to go in with this really bright gold. Not this one. This one's a little bit too... Uh, not feeling that one. Definitely that one. I'm going to carve out my lid first with some concealer. So I'm going to take that Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. I'm going to take a flat definer brush, such as this one. Carve out my lid really quickly. And then set that shimmer right on top of that concealer so it really pops. So I don't know why my camera just shut off again, but I just smoked out my lower lash line with this shade first all over, and then I just focused this shade on the outer corner. And for mascara, I picked out the Tarte Tartiest Mascara. Um... This mascara is alright. It doesn't really do a lot of lengthening. It just kind of like coats the lashes. For lashes today, I'm going to go in with the Ardell Wispies, like always. Lashes are on, so let's move on to our lippy. And I picked out the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, I believe. And this is in the shade Mess Around. This is the lip. I definitely wouldn't pair this cool toned brown with this warm toned eye look. So let's set our face with this Ofra Makeup Fixer setting spray that I also picked out. Alright guys, and this is the completed look that I got from picking out all my makeup blindfolded. Let's give myself a round of applause. If you're not subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button and that little notification bell next to it to be notified every time I upload. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday for the most part, you know, sometimes life just gets in the way. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys.